Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Um, so today I am showing y'all how I took this old busted wig that was a dark brown and I turned it red. Um, I had this wig and it has a bald spot in it which y'all will see later but it's really old, it's ugly it's dry so i just felt like i wanted to color my hair but this would be a good low risk situation to do because i didn't care if i damaged this wig so here i'm just showing you all the things that i use it'll also be in the description box below so check that out um, but i pretty much just used a little mixing bowl 30 volume developer and then i got the red by using this kiss by red Tentation hair dye in the color red velvet. Um, those are just purple shampoo and conditioners that I used for toning purposes, which really was not necessary. So you can use any kind of conditioner. And then I use the Clairol Extra Strength bleaching powder. So yeah, here I'm just showing you this wig and this huge bald spot that's in the middle of it. So again, I didn't care about this wig. I knew that if I jacked this up, it would be fine. So I felt like this was a good time to experiment, but it actually turned out really good so i'm excited to like try some other colors and like actually do a good job but anyways this bleaching powder comes in this bag um i started off using the little measuring cup that came with it but that was pretty much pointless because i ended up using this entire bag um plus that entire bottle of 30 volume developer um i actually had to use another like smaller bottle of developer because i ran out but yeah, I didn't really have any kind of process to that. I just dumped the powder in there and then I added um, the developer. And it's best to have it very liquidy, I realized, because then it's easier to distribute the product throughout the hair. So yeah, I just mixed those two together until I got the consistency that I wanted. And then I was trying to waste no time. I wanted to hurry up and get it done. So I pretty much just poured it on there and started painting it on. So I did realize as I started this, or I should say once I got to the actual dyeing part, um, that getting in between the hair was a little difficult because this hair is really really thick so as i was painting the bleach on i also had to kind of like open it up to make sure that i was getting the bleach all the way through but um yeah i really had no process to this i just kind of painted it on but i did try to leave the ends um without the bleach until closer to the end of the process just because that process is faster um, and then I also didn't really give a lot of attention to the roots of the hair because I did want to have a darker root um, than the rest of the hair. So kind of waited to the last part to do that. But yeah, really no process. I just kind of poured it on and painted it through. So once I started getting through most of the hair, I actually flipped it over to make sure that I was getting the underside of the wig and just kind of went through and made sure there weren't any patches. And then I tried to comb it through, but this hair is very tangled. So this was my failed attempt at that to distribute the product better. Okay, so I fully anticipate this wig being completely bald-headed by the time I'm done with it, but we'll see. This is the color we're at. I don't want it to get too light because I don't want a bright red. I want a deeper red. So I just wanted to lift it enough to be able to take the color. So yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Okay. All right, so at this point, I pretty much just rinsed out all of the bleach. Um, and then I went in with the shampoo, which is specifically for toning hair after you've bleached it. But like I said, you could really use anything because I'm not just like keeping the hair bleached. So yeah, I just put that through to make sure that the bleaching process stopped. And I also made sure to wash the lace with that because I didn't protect the lace. Um, and then after that, I used a lot of conditioner. So I used this Aussie conditioner, but I also used the matching conditioner to the shampoo that I used. Um, distributed that through to make the hair softer so that it would be easier to detangle after the fact. 
and then I'm just gonna plop that back on the wig head and put it in the dryer under the dryer. After detangling. <laughs> So after the hair got finished drying, um, I just took it back out. It's like this nice burnt orange color. And then this time um, I made sure to like lay the wig as flat as I possibly could. And then I tried to brush the hair out into like a big circular like sun situation um, just to make sure that the hair was like as thin as it was, it was able to get so that I could get um, this red dye through as easily as I could. Um, so yeah, I just pretty much brushed and detangled that out as best as I could and made sure to get the hair really flat so that it wouldn't be so hard to get to those um, under those layers that are underneath the top layer. So I started off by skirting this dye into the bowl just because I wasn't sure if I was gonna wanna add black to it or not, but I really didn't need to. So yeah, I pretty much just started painting that on. Again, no real process to it. Um, yeah, I just started painting it on, which I had a really fun time with this. And I used a shower curtain liner um, to do this because I just felt like that was the easiest way for me to not make a mess because I was doing this in my kitchen and that really worked out well for me. I also made sure to go through with a paddle brush and just detangle through the hair and help get the product through all the layers as well. So I did that pretty frequently as I was placing this dye in. But yeah, so once I got to the second bottle of dye, I literally just started squirting it on there and brush it through. And then, yeah, here's what it looked like when I was done. Okay, the hair has been sitting here for about 20 minutes, so I'm going to go wash it out now. And then I'm going to put it back on the wig stand with the hair dryer. So this was the hair after washing it. Um, I was pretty pleased with how it looked. It looked really nice. It was soft. It was beautiful. So after I finished washing it, um, I took the hair and put it back on the wig head. And then I used some Nairobi and just put that all along the hairline so that I was able to... Um, kind of brush back like all the baby hairs and just all the hair in general to mold it down. Um, that way after it dried, it wouldn't be in my way when I was ready to actually install the wig. Um, so yeah, I just brushed through that and then I was done. And this is what it looks like. I straightened it the first night and that's how it looked. And then the next morning, I um, used some water, sprayed through it and wore it in its natural state, which is like this body wave. So yeah, I just put some Nairobi in my brush, brushed it through and then I scrunched. And it was done so then um i'll show you what it looks like when it's dry and that was pretty much it but this was fun and i look forward to doing more videos like this make sure to subscribe i love you all bye